successive transformations. Some simple examples. Let's apply the following three transformations to y equals 1 over x. Okay, so the first one, a translation of uh, two units in the positive x direction. So replace x in the original equation with x minus 2. So now we have this. The next transformation, we're going to stretch the graph in the y direction by a scale factor of 3. So we're going to multiply the equation here with 3 to get this. And the final transformation, we're going to translate the graph in the positive y direction by 5 units. So we need to add 5 to the equation here. So now we have this. Example 2, we're going to apply these three transformations to y equals 1 over x squared. Okay, so let's start with a translation in the negative x direction by three units. So we need to replace x in the original equation with x plus 3 to get this. And now we're going to stretch the graph in the x direction with a scale factor of a half. So we need to replace the x in this equation with x divided by the scale factor of a half, which simplifies to 2x. So replace the x here with 2x to get this. And the third of our transformations is a reflection in the x-axis. When you reflect in the x-axis, you're changing the signs on one side of the equation, so we just need to put a minus here to get this. Example 3, we're going to apply a translation in the y direction, followed by a stretch in the x direction, and then finally a stretch in the y direction. So starting with a translation in the negative y direction by one unit. Yeah, this is straightforward. We just need to uh, put minus 1 on the end of the equation here. Minus 1 to get this. And now we're going to stretch the graph in the x direction by a scale factor of a quarter. So we replace the x in the equation here with x divided by the, uh, the stretch factor of a quarter which simplifies to 4x. So replace the x here with 4x to get this. And finally we're going to stretch the graph in the y direction by a scale factor of 2 so we're going to multiply these terms by 2 to get this, which you can simplify to this.